you could have clicked on another video. And where did that bring you? Back to me. Once again, BenQ has sent us another one of their lovely, lovely products for us to review. We're sensing a little bit of a crush here, BenQ. Are you sick and tired of playing on your 27-inch screen? Do you have a plain white wall in your room that stretches 200 inches diagonally? No. Don't worry, brothers and sisters. BenQ got you covered from 60 to 200 inches with its TK700 STI, a 3000 lumens S-tier gaming projector that shines light brighter than your future. The BenQ TK700 STI looks like how I would imagine a projector to be. Squarish, thick, and buttons on the surface. Nothing really screams gamer when you look at it because it's the insides that matter. Moving on to the back, we have two HDMI 2.0B port, a USB Type A port, which I couldn't really figure out what it does because it doesn't seem to respond to my wireless uh, mouse and keyboard dongle. Let me know in the comments if you know what it does. Another HDMI port hidden here that's used for the BenQ Android TV dongle. Now, I wonder why they couldn't just include it into the projector though. Guess if you don't need a um, Android TV, you have another additional HDMI port to use. Next, a RS232 port. Now don't be mistaken, this is not a VGA port. It looks the same, but it is really not. The port is actually used for controlling your projector if it's mounted in an inaccessible place like the ceiling of an auditorium. The TK700 STI is a 4K resolution projector capable of showing HDR10 and HLG content. This means that you will be able to experience a larger range of colors compared to an ordinary projector. We'll be doing a comparison later on, so just stay still and don't go anywhere. Next is its 3000 NSI lumens that gives you a clear image even in the day. Note that BenQ specifically states NSI lumens and not just any lumens. In the past, there was a bit of controversy surrounding the projector market with brands posting uh, misleading numbers such as a thousand lumens when their true NSI lumens is maybe 150. We'll put a link in the description below if you're interested to find out more. There's also a remote controller for you if your projector is mounted somewhere inaccessible. Now the only caveat that I have with the remote controller is that there is no Netflix button. No one uses Prime Video. Are you ready? Here comes the best part. The projector is made for gaming as well. You know what this means? A higher price to pay for your opponent as you snipe them easily with your low, low input lag when you're running at 4K 60Hz. Other notable settings include 1080p at 120Hz. Moving on to the comparison. Here we have a cheapo Mervo Y6. And you know what? Take a look at the product description when I bought it. 2800 lumens 4K projector. Well, I bought it so you don't have to. And you can thank me by visiting our sponsor over at... I'm kidding, we don't get paid here. Firstly, a brightness test. Come on man, Mervo. Really? 2008? Both projectors went through a factory reset and this image is straight out of the box. I decided to give Mervo a fighting chance by tweaking the brightness setting. But as you can see, it comes nothing close to the BenQ TK700 STI. BenQ claims that the TK700 STI has a very low input lag of 16 milliseconds, which is practically unheard of in the projector market. I couldn't find any information on the response time of the Mervo Y6, but projectors on average are about uh, 45 milliseconds. Now we do not think this is an accurate representation of an input lag comparison as we are syncing the comparison footage by eye. The correct way is to have some sort of an input lag apparatus that accurately portrays the moment the button is pressed. However, from our real life observation, we can really tell the attack done by Lucario appeared quicker on screen compared to the Mervo Y6. I was really impressed by this as I was skeptical as to whether I could really tell the difference as it was all measured in milliseconds. We at the tech revolutionists can vouch for BenQ's product quality and we intend to do so for a long, long time. They have been very consistent with their products and we look forward to experiencing more from them. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.